Hey, what's up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. I'm gonna show you how to tip a Cat 6 line here. Um, I also showed how to uh, tip a Cat 5 line. It's very similar. Uh, this is just for higher bandwidth. Um, it's a little bit thicker wire. There's still eight strands. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit different process. So let me show it to you here. You're gonna start by stripping back your wire, just like a Cat 5 line. You're gonna score the out outer shielding, pull it back. Cut off your little string, and then you can see you have all your, your strands here. You're gonna untangle them each individually. Just like that. Once you get them all untangled from each other, all your different strands, you're just going to straighten them out so that they can go into the connector a little bit easier. And then you're going to choose your sequence. I'm going to be using sequence B. So you got orange, white, orange, then you go green, white, blue, blue, white green and then brown white brown just get them all into order and then you're going to straighten them out so they can go into your fitting just like that you guys let me know if this lights better or worse. I'm trying to improve the quality of these videos for you guys. So once you got them all straightened out, you're gonna get your connectors. And there's two pieces to a Cat6 tip. You have the little inner feed piece right here. And then you have the tip itself. So, I'm gonna come in here and shorten up my lines. Cut them down to the appropriate length. And I'm gonna feed them into my inner connector. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work to get it to feed. There you go. Once you get it in there, your line should still line up as you had them before. If they don't, you need to redo it. Now I'm just going to shorten it down a little bit more. that's going to do is make it so that whenever I do go to put my wire in, the shielding goes all the way up into the connector, like so. That way it's a nice, clean connection. Just like the Cat cable, you want to make sure, uh, just like the Cat 5 cable, you're going to want to make sure all your wires are flush with the tip of the connector. And you can see my shielding's completely in there. Now we're just going to crimp it down. Like that. That's a nice clean fitting. The only other thing you could do if you really wanted to um, is put a jacket on this just to make it even uh, more finished. But we do so many of these. Um, daily but we don't really mess with the visual cosmetics unless a customer really wants us to but we have a lot of pre-made cables for that this is how you install a cat 6 cable uh, or a fitting there is one other step that we recommend and 
that's testing your lines. So you can purchase one of these. This is just a Klein Tools Home Depot tester. They're pretty affordable. You plug your tester into one side, like so, and you go to the other end plug it into here and then you test the line and it'll say either pass or fail. Um, I highly recommend testing your line when you're done so that you don't have to uh, guess if it's going to work or not. Alright well I hope you guys found this uh, Cat6 tipping video uh, relevant and helpful. Keep in mind we are your home theater company here in Dallas. If you need any equipment, projectors, TVs, screens, or any uh, matrix switches uh, we can definitely get you those products even if you're uh, anywhere else in the states uh, we have free shipping and a low price guarantee make sure to give us a call shoot us an email give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe down below this is Zach with your media home theater thanks for watching